Today we will be exploring a land formerly owned by the United States military. This property was a huge difference maker during World War I and World War II, producing over 11 million pounds of naval ammunition. The land was first inhabited by the Native Americans who named the island Wanaka Wakin, or translated to good land, because of the many fish that would swim past during summer months. In 1683, members of the Van Cortland family purchased the land from the natives and later was occupied by British troops during the American Revolution. In 1847, it was sold again to a family who would plant grape and fruit trees that would be supplied to the Union Army during the Civil War. In 1882, the island was purchased by a group of investors. A summer resort was developed on the island. The island had a hotel, amusement park, carousel, ferris wheel, dance floor, and in 1899, the island was bought by the United States military for a naval ammunition depot becoming one of the largest ammunition facilities in the nation at the time. And tragically, on November 4th, 1903, an explosion at the site killed six workers and blew out windows across the river three miles away. The explosion occurred while men were drawing explosive charges from a consignment of old shells recently arrived at the station. The depot supplied much of the munitions for both World War I and World War II and remained in service until 1947. Approximately five of the original 164 arsenal buildings remain, and today we will see what's left. If you enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up, and let's go explore. Got my bag all packed, got a hammock, uh, my camera stuff, tripod, water, and I almost forgot to get my little snack I do have. But I'm in the middle of nowhere, there's really just one more car parked. And today we're going to be going to an abandoned island. It has an extensive history, a lot of it to do with military, US military and what was once here. Including a pretty big disaster that happened as well. I'm going to get my snack and go down this road here. Wait for no cars to come and access this island. Today I have some sort of peanut butter cookie. Um, high calorie, high protein. And I'm gonna grab my flashlight too. We're gonna head on this trail. So the road is blocked off for cars, but online, even on the website for the park service, it says you're able to walk over here says state park lands so I hopefully mean that that hopefully means that that barricade was uh, mainly a deterrent for cars and not humans because I think you are allowed to walk through here but you could see the scenery here nestled in the mountains we can get a better view once we get closer I'm starting to see the roofs of some buildings over there this place had a huge amount of ammunition storage for most of World War I and World War II. It was shortly after World War II ended in 1947 when this place shut down for good. And here on the tracks is what the military built many years ago to access the island. That was in 1899 the military purchased this land made it a fuel deep in ammunition depot and we're just at the gate here better go inside here we have the entrance here you know originally this would be a guard booth somebody would be in to check you into the the naval depot
Check out the little detail put into the stone wall at the front gate. Got a little warhead put right there representing what this place did for America during World War One and Two. So we got many brick buildings here. Overgrown, plenty of ivy. Looks like on the right we have a depot. And there's a maintenance car over there. Check out the surroundings here. Beautiful place to be in a complete wasteland. We have all these pallets of product or something just rotting away out here. It's been out here for some time. Still wrapped up in everything. Fragile. But here we have a road that'll take us right to these buildings here. We have some sort of rusty machinery just rotting here behind this building. We're gonna keep going down this road, I think. You could see many long ab abandoned roads. You can imagine there was probably buildings on either side at one point, all demolished. So beautiful, peaceful out here. Just all this overgrowth. All the windows are knocked out too. Easy as that, we found a way in. Ooh, not before I got stabbed by thorns. Yeah, I got stabbed pretty well by those thorns. Now I know there's no windows on this place, but I just noticed this the bars on this window, so maybe at one point it was just bars and a little grate behind it. But this little sketchy bridge brings us into the place. Seems stable, but the place does not. Wow, beautiful building. Let me get my light out. Got the light on. First view of this storage closet here. Look at all the space you have. And the first thing I notice about this place is how unstable it is. And we have all these holes in the floor. Got a couple there, and if I look above, yep, I can see right to the ceiling. I think it's okay to walk a little bit in here. You can see the steel they use. The place is made completely of wood. Gotta love those almost like prison-like bars on the window, making this place just a little bit more dramatic. I gotta really be careful here because there's just a thin layer of wood and then it's a big drop to the basement. There's hazards everywhere in this building. It's been abandoned for quite some time, you know, since World War II ended. <laughs> so this is some old stuff. I'm guessing where I'm standing is okay to walk. It's kind of amazing how you don't see any graffiti here. The place has been abandoned since World War II. Wow, yeah, this whole floor collapsed. You can see just the ceiling.
I think this was like a cafeteria building or some sort of food building. Just because I think there's a, used to be at least, a kitchen through this window here. The tiling at least gives that hint away to me. Yeah, look at all these old ovens. They're all rusted and just rotting here. I bet if I went up to them, it would just chip away if I touched it. Those are super old. Wow, I can't even really go in there. I mean, look at this. There's just so much destruction. I don't need the word, I mean, God. What time and weather does to these buildings. Yeah, definitely, that was like a pantry in there. This definitely resembles a kitchen. You can see the tiles. A little bit of everywhere. Super overgrown. It's beautiful to see buildings taken back by nature, though. I went across that area to get to the main section. All right, let's see how this goes. Always stick to the edges. Wow, look how cool this is. This is so reminiscent of architecture used in asylums at the same time period. Here's another room or view, I should say, of the storage room. How beautiful is that? You have this heavily decaying staircase that I probably won't be going up. I can see the steps just merging together and plants growing on there. I mean, it's so water damaged that plants are growing in there. I got the support beam. Beautiful hallway. Catello is probably half green, half white. This part of the building is very solid. Wow. Check out that fireplace. Very old brick fireplace. Huge too. I think it used to be painted white. You can see the original green underneath on the little top piece. This was the front door to the building here. Look at this cutout in the door. So I guess people would come here and there would be a clerk you would talk to them, maybe just hand you a ticket or something, a visitor's pass. But this room is interesting. We have more barred windows, so this probably definitely was like the security checkpoint as soon as you walk in here. There's definitely workers here because I just heard a door truck close, so I'm not alone. So I gotta be kind of sneaky. Make sure not to step on too much crunchy stuff. The staircase looks a lot more stable. Wow. That's a long hallway. You can see the frame of this door is reinforced. It used to be a safe, but they took off the front door. I mean, it's a huge possibility. It could have been blasted off and it's in this rubble. But I wouldn't know. Just a huge room on the side of the staircase. It's a 
go down this hallway slowly. Bathroom with sinks. Wow, nice staircase here. Okay, maybe this is the main lobby. We have a beautiful arch window right there in the center of the staircase. But before we head up, potentially, maybe this staircase, maybe another one, we'll test the waters. I wanna see what's down here more on the first floor. Interesting, you could see where there was shelves installed on the walls, nothing, nothing left though usually military operations. They are successful at bringing everything with them, making sure not to leave any trace. Here's a cool light fixture. All rusty and looks like it's the home of a bird's nest now. Now this room over here is very large. Definitely like the meeting room or just the social room. Got a nice fireplace there in the center. We have built-in shelving and storage right beside it. I really love this place. See the details up there in the trim right above the top of the fireplace mantle. Seriously beautiful. You could see they had a bunch of these like drop down UFO shaped lamps, three on each side. So we're gonna have to use our imagination here. Let's see the drop down type. You know, it's really amazing that these buildings are still up, even though some things are missing. The fact that this World War I and World War II history is still accessible today is a real wonder. It's not every day you're able to walk through history. I want, I want to check the front porch. Wow, the front porch is really nice, as I expected. Got these columns here. And I'm completely engulfed and vegetation. The pathway is just completely covering at this point. These stairs look okay. Ooh, I don't know about this. 
it's no way. That's just the third step. I do see some decay happening right beneath. It's separating from the wall. Let me see the other staircase. And the staircase kinda looks better. Let's take sound as the best. some more big open rooms a lot of downtime here on a military base without much technology I know some places used to build movie theaters on the campus bowling alleys to keep the troops occupied busy baseball fields stuff like that but a lot of these rooms are just meant for socializing this was a bathroom. This was clearly an old shower. People would wait their turn on this bench. We got the drain in the center. Could have been multiple people showering at once. So this maybe was a building where people lived, soldiers. People here working at the naval base. Can't get over that window, I love that. We, came, we entered the building right below here. You can see the f hole in the floor. Heavily decayed building, but I love seeing the old touches of paint, architecture, and a little bit of detail that's left here. And this is the first piece of graffiti I've seen here. Who knows how old it is? Wow, this side is just completely destroyed. Looks like people tried to gut the place, try to get all the copper out of it. Very beautiful building. Gonna embrace it some more, take some more photographs. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram and you have one, I never really promote it on my YouTube channel, but follow me there. It's just dark, period, exploration. Put the whole word in, probably will find me. This is a really good start to this place and this explore. First building we're in, pretty cool. I do think the one across from us is being used by the park service. I see a work car in there and some lights on, so just gotta be careful. The one artifact left in this building, an old rusty chair. Just chilling in front of these barred windows here. We have the building circuits too. World War One, World War Two era circuits here. Coming across another warehouse type building. The building we just left is right there. Wow. Didn't realize how destroyed it was. building we just left. Let's 
Should I find a way inside this warehouse? We got like a trailer over here. Let's see what else we could find. Oh yeah, like I said before, there's definitely remnants of other buildings like concrete slabs and rusty machinery just laid out everywhere in these big fields. I'm really trying not to step on a snake or something. It's really overgrown over here. Nothing even in here. Can't even get into it. So this is the military fire department, if I was to guess. Definitely installed after the accident that happened. But this place is a ghost town now. That building we were able to get inside, I definitely believe, was probably a barracks. Soldiers probably slept in there, ate in there. We did find a kitchen, a lot of common rooms, common space. And this was the industrial area where things would come in and out. Coal coming in to fuel this place. All different stuff. And speaking of the coal that was once coming through here, those train tracks are actually still bringing freight right across this line. It's so cool. What an awesome ending to this explore here, this cool facility nestled in the mountains. So I just noticed on maps, there was this brick building. I think there's a couple over here that I didn't check out. Walked about a mile on this pretty relaxing path. Let's see if we can get in. It's off the beaten trail some, so I'm assuming it is abandoned. A lot of tire marks, that's the first dead giveaway. People have been here recently. Not sure if people use this as like an outdoor, off-road truck type of thing. Did see a couple of bumpers left behind for people brave enough to come out here. But this does look like some sort of industrial building. Definitely a way in that window there. A little bit high up though. Let's see what else I could see. Look at this enormous menorah that's really cool it's super old decayed this must have been a remnant for the troops i would imagine hanging this up during the holidays some christmas stuff as well i'm sure oh yeah these are yeah these are for lights hanging this window is pretty high it's like six and a half feet off the ground let's get a good look in here at my camera Someone left their boot behind on this shed. We have another building here. You can see at one point all these roads that were on the property here were paved with these these yellowish bricks. And I think I found some artillery storage right around the corner from that warehouse right there. I noticed this concrete structure. And I've seen this in former military bases that I've been to. 
This looks like an area where they would might might have stored ammunition, artillery. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, nothing in here now but some graffiti. But this is where they would store some ammunition. They just would blow up the mountainside, put concrete and metal behind it, just in case anything blew up like it did. It would be more than reinforced with two steel doors and all this concrete. That's a cool find, I'm glad I found this. Just kinda hidden in the mountainside. They also built it like this so overhead recon planes couldn't figure out where their stashes were. Yeah, built right into it. You could assume that all these different brick buildings here would be holding ammunition. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me on another journey, another memory that I made today. Beautiful campus. I love exploring old forgotten ruins, old facilities and old grounds just like this, especially old military stuff, historical locations that really put America in the position it is in today. You know, the firearms, the ammunition, the men that worked here, the sweat, the blood, the tears, everything that went into building this place and where the goods were shipped across America and across the world, you know, fighting the good fight. I can only um, respect it and I'm glad I was able to walk through the walls of history today and step back in time to a time that buildings like this, properties like this were operational. And people were thriving in them, but now nothing. A lot of old places like this just sit and I'm totally okay with exploring them for my own eyes and documenting them for the world to see. Leaving a digital footprint before this place demolishes itself or history is just demolished by, you know, human hands. So anyway, if you guys did enjoy today, I had a blast. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know if you did enjoy it and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Have a good day. See ya.